The Airbus A350 was unveiled to the world in the 2000s after many years of studies by the European plane maker. It would go on later to make its first flight in 2013, with an introduction coming a few years later. But as with any industry, innovation will always be at the forefront in an era of sustainability. Understanding the general direction of a manufacturer becomes certainly more fascinating when factoring this in. Recently, manufacturers have explored means of re-engineering existing models instead of launching a clean sheet aircraft. As I'm sure you're aware, the substantial costs that come with a clean sheet sometimes is not worth that investment or time, when there is a cheaper, better alternative that can be a stopgap looking ahead. This can certainly be seen now with wide bodies like your A330 to A330neo, 777 to 777x, but it also doesn't just stop here. When taking a look at narrow bodies, we've seen this with the A320s and the 737 families. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it would really mean a lot. So with Airbus's currently most successful widebody, the A350, not getting any younger, and airline requirements consistently changing, paired with a substantial amount of innovation at other key aviation suppliers, the prospect of an A350neo is something that has been discussed within our industry throughout the years. But truly, what's the latest? What discussions have taken place, and why has this as an aircraft even been mentioned to begin with? Well, actually, initial talks of an A350neo at Airbus date back to before the turn of the decade. Considering the A350-900's introduction actually came only less than half a decade earlier, it was a pretty quick turnaround from launch to new engine option consideration. The Air Current reported on February 13, 2019, that two people familiar with the company saw Airbus looking towards the ultrafan from Rolls-Royce and a true first commercial application on the A350 as a NEO towards the 2025 mark. And at the back end of 2019, Aviation Week, which is another reliable source of insider developments, said that GE were in talks with Airbus over a potential A350neo 2. Preliminary talks were to evolve the GE NX design for possible future variant consideration. Alongside the already mentioned Ultrafan, it pitted two engine manufacturers front and center to discuss possibilities of such an upgrade to an existing unit really coming to fruition. It is important to note that because this hasn't obviously panned out exactly how these reports highlighted, doesn't mean it was inherently wrong at the time. As we know, a lot can change, and the industry has arguably experienced some of its most challenging times in recent history, especially at such a scale when we take a look at the sheer number of airlines, aircraft, and companies that are operational. Especially when we need to factor in immediately everything I just mentioned and how these companies need to align with their own strategies, well then you have a very complicated industry. This means that talk of an Airbus A350neo has, yes, considerably dropped since it was first highlighted and widely reported just before the turn of the decade. That doesn't stop, though, pure speculation from continuing as the years have progressed, with multiple industry analysts and blogs chirping in with their own opinions on such a new engine option, and how it could be very beneficial to Airbus fending off potential competition that they may see from Boeing's up-and-coming 777X really close in the gap and generally offer customers an even more efficient and capable widebody. Those talks though and speculation always have had one overarching comment. Again, at the end of 2019, and only actually a matter of weeks after Aviation Week discussed the preliminary talks between GE and Airbus over a new engine option, the chief executive of the European plane maker did emerge and said that while they're always discussing potential options to boost their aircraft portfolio and achieve new strides in efficiency, it doesn't actually mean they necessarily had any plans for the A350neo at that time. There are definitely two ways that people may take these comments. Some would say that it is what it is, the plane maker really highlighting that yes, it studies many alternatives through the years, but it doesn't always guarantee a move towards production. At the end of the day, the idea has to be feasible. Or some may very well be in the camp that if Airbus were progressing with such a variant, they would hardly reveal all thanks to just some reports floating about in the media. The Airbus A350 is certainly at the moment a leading choice as a widebody. Airbus's orders and thus backlog 
for the series are pretty strong, and they're continuing to attract new customers for different missions. Exhibit A is taking a look at Qantas and their Project Sunrise, with purposefully built Airbus A350-1000s being offered to the national carrier as they embark on what they describe as the final frontier of travel. It shows there is more flexibility with the current model, and especially when we do consider that this plane is still attracting interest far and wide. And it also is important though to look ahead, you can't just look in the now. While an aircraft can be in production at the moment and say earning very well of respect, it won't be that way forever. So studying potential future alternatives is the very least a manufacturer such as Airbus can do, and in this case it is related to re-engining the 350. What though is the A350neo's status in 2023? Well, really, it's been years since a firm development or report indicating the manufacturer was still studying or exploring options around this type. As mentioned, the past four years have been some of the hardest that we've felt. This isn't just related to the consequences, though, of the global pandemic, but it could be related to inflation, conflict, and labor shortages. Problems at every company do still exist, and for Airbus, their priorities have certainly been placed elsewhere. So does the A350neo have a future in our industry? Most would put forward the case that someday with new technology advancements, especially in the realm of engines, a potential quick application to re-engine the aircraft could actually harbour superb long-term benefits for customers, and it wouldn't be the first time that we've seen a re-engine or a further adaptation of a series be incredibly successful. However, equally, I think you'll have people on the other side of the fence, of the belief that, say, projects away from currently existing aircraft types are far more intriguing, such as potential hydrogen means, batteries, and more ways to power travel in a more sustainable manner. Of course, this is with a lot of unproven technology and still very much early days, so you can make the argument whether an A350neo is required or whether Airbus should go all in on the next piece of technology that will fundamentally change our industry and the overall direction of aircraft as we know them. What are your thoughts though? Do you believe, had we not encountered so many issues with the industry, that a launch in the mid-2020s of a new engine option to the 350 could have been a good idea? Or do you still believe there is room for such a variant within our industry, looking ahead as more customers require fuel-efficient widebodies? Do be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Thank you very much for your support here on the channel. As always, I do greatly appreciate it. Take care and be safe, and I'll see you next time. And we'll fly.